Fuel management on our airplanes is something that most people just take for granted. You've got a fuel selector on the floor, you know, it's both left, right, off. You take off and you land with them on both and you switch them in flight if you need to even up the tanks. And that's pretty much what most people know. But the fuel system runs a little deeper than that in terms of what you need to know to adequately be safe. The airplanes we work with, the P's and early Q model airplanes, have only a single fuel tank vent line located behind the left wing strut. On the 79s and 80s with a wet wing, we've got, we've got two. We've got a vent behind each wing strut venting each tank. So consequently, the tanks are, are a little bit different. Now, on the, on the bladder tanks that have the single vent behind the left wing strut, this tank has a vent line that goes over the headliner, forward headliner, into the other tank to vent it. So that tank is vented through this crossover line from this tank. Now, on that airplane in flight, normally we'll see the fuel feeding more out of the left tank than the right tank. In other words, the left gauge will start coming down while the right tank is still fairly full. I think there's two reasons for that. One is obviously this tank is venting better than the far tank. The other reason is, is because on all fuel injected engines you have to have a fuel return line that returns excess fuel and vapor back into the fuel system. Well, on our 550 and IL 470, that fuel return line is teed into that vent line that goes over the headliner. Well, on the earlier models with a single vent here, if the airflow is going from the left to the right, it would seem to me logical that the fuel would also tend to float with the air and go to the right tank. So on the, on the bladder equipped airplanes with a single vent, usually they always feed faster out of the left tank than the right due to this tank venting better and the other tank getting probably most of the return fuel and vapor. Now another thing I've, I've had somebody mention to me is they says, you know Todd, the, the fuel selector valve must not be working quite right because I'm up cruising and I flipped over to the right tank to burn off the right tank, but yet the left tank came down first. And I said, well, that's kind of normal because what happens is even though you're burning off the right tank, the vent line that connects the two tanks together is submerged in fuel. So fuel from the left tank is going through that vent line and refilling the right tank. You have to have the fuel levels down to about three quarters of a tank on each side or a little below to get that vent crossover line out of the fuel so it's not submerged in the fuel and then at that point you have true left and right fuel selector capability. So if you're up flying and you flip it on the right and you see it come down from the left that's just the design of the system. The, the later aircraft with the wet wings have a little better venting where you've got a vent on each tank. Still they don't feed entirely even but it's better. So consequently you really need to kind of figure out you know how your fuel system works and once you do that, it's fairly simple, your fuel management problems will go away.